Hey everybody, Clay Archer, CEO, DVC Technology, and I've got another fun one today. Today, Unify has dropped a new U7 in wall. I personally have been running two U7 Pro walls for quite some time now. I really love those devices, but I get a ton of questions from everybody about when the regular U7 wall was gonna come, and today is that day. It's got a 2.5 gigabit uplink, which is awesome. It's powered by PoE or PoE Plus if you wanna do a pass-through. It's got the four spatial stream Wi-Fi 7, which is awesome, and it's got a built-in two port 2.5 gigabit ethernet switch with one of those ports being PoE, which is awesome. And the switch is coming in at a pretty reasonable $149. So those are the specs. And this is a really nicely designed little unit. The two port switch on the bottom of it, there's the input on the back. It's very slim compared to my U7 Pro walls. It's a very small and sleek little unit. We went ahead and installed it in our meeting room, which is the perfect place for this. Sean really quickly pulled off the existing faceplate installed the adapter and then clicked this device right into it. And I was able to adopt it super quickly by just launching the Unify app and clicking adopt. Took maybe a minute or two and it adopted it right in. While we were doing that, I went ahead and grabbed my U7 Pro in wall. And just to take some B-roll of the size difference between the two units, I think even with this unit, including the integrated switch and the U7 Pro wall not having that integrated switch, the size and the thickness difference is quite, quite striking. This is a very attractive unit in the room once it's installed. Two big things of note to mention on this device though. First, there is no six gigahertz on this device. And second, there are only two ports on the in integrated switch instead of four. And I think there are two, really two reasons for this. Number one, I think they wanted to be in that kind of $150 range, $149. I think the value is really high on this. And number two, and this is more of a hunch on my part, and I haven't played with it long enough to really definitively let you know this, but heat dissipation has been a real big issue on my Wi-Fi 7 devices. Not that it's been a problem for me as far as functionality is concerned, but Wi-Fi 7 devices do run very warm. And in this device, you've got it there against the wall. And I think adding a four port switch in it with Wi-Fi 7, I think it's at some point, you'd either have to make it bigger, have, you know, fans in it, you know, that kind of stuff that would make the price go up. So I think they're trying to hit that price to performance to size ratio, you know, perfectly. And I think they've done a pretty good job here. Honestly, for me, I don't need a four port switch there, two ports more than enough in the rooms that I would probably put this. Also, there's not a ton of things right now that are taking advantage of those six gigahertz antennas. Like right now, the only thing that I'm running that is even using it is my Pixel. But those are worth mentioning. If you do need a four port switch there, you're gonna have to go to a different device. Also, if you need six gigahertz, but you don't need the integrated switch, maybe you would go up to the uh, U7 Pro wall for another $50. But like I've been saying in all my videos lately, what Unify has been doing is they've been offering you options. So you have this at $149. You can go to the Pro Wall at $199. Um, you still have the existing U6 and in conjunction with the U7 Lite that they released today as well. I think they're trying to give you options at that lower end of the range, which is, is appreciated. I think they're going to sell both of these WAPs like hotcakes. They're going to have trouble keeping them in stock. Uh, I will put an affiliate link down below. I do thank Unify for sending them out. Although they have sent them to me for free, the opinions are all mine. I will show you a quick overlay of the Wi-Fi man results that I've got testing the speed of this. I tend to shy away from doing Wi-Fi tests because they are so environmentally dependent, but take that for what it is. I will tell you that we don't have super high speed internet here at the office, but let me know what you think about the new U7 in wall. I think this is gonna be a very popular device, but there are some concessions. Please put your comments and questions down below. I answer all of those and please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.